Hello, my name is Nolly Nenders, and I wanted to um, do a quick instruction on how to use our journal search tool for your EDF 210 assignment on your um, article summary. So in addition to using our databases, you can also do a search within a journal title. So if you go to our library homepage, you want to click on research. Then you're going to want to click on journal search, which is the next to the last tab in the left column. And in the center of the page, you want to click on KCU journal search. So you may want to use this if you have an article that's really good and it's answering all your questions and you would like to see if there are other articles within that same publication that might be useful to you. So what you can do is type in the title of the journal to see if you can find other articles. Um, so we're going to do one example um, if you wanted to use the journal Classroom Teaching. This will be available in full text. If you click on the plus sign underneath, it will say full text access and you can click on that and it will tell you which database it's located in. So we're going to click on education source. And what I look at first is determining if this journal is peer reviewed. So if I look over um, at the bold lettering on the left hand side, at the bottom it will say peer reviewed and it says no. We know that this assignment requires peer reviewed articles, therefore this journal would not be useful. So if you have an article from that journal, you would probably want to select a different one um, and you would definitely want to not use this journal any further. A second example is if we typed in Journal of Educational Research. We'll search for that. If we click on the plus sign underneath, you'll see that it's in several of our databases. Since this is an education assignment, I'm going to stick with Education Source. And you can now search in this journal um, two different ways as long as it's peer reviewed. So if I scroll down and look at the bold letters on the side, when it says peer reviewed, it says yes. So this would be an acceptable journal to use. If I had an article from a particular issue, I could click on that issue date and then on the particular issue itself. And what it will do is pull up a list of all the articles within that issue um, in page number order. So you can scroll through and see if there were additional articles on that topic in that particular issue. You can also search in the entire journal and see what other articles on, for example, classroom management could be available. So we would click on search within this publication. In the second box, you would type in, type in classroom management and then click on search. And even though it said this is a peer reviewed journal, you want to go over to the left hand column and make sure peer reviewed is clicked on. And it will update. And you also want to be sure that your date range is correct. So um, you don't want anything earlier than 2013. So now you would have a list of five articles to look at that are from this particular publication um, to see if any of those would work for your assignment. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact a librarian and have a great day.